Security, can you answer my question, please? How you doing? Why is it that the press get to talk to the governor and this is about the, the people's house and the people is excluded from this conversation? You know what I'm saying? The people is excluded from this conversation. Can you answer me that? I got a legal reason to be here and I'm a citizen. I pay taxes. Can you tell me? Can you give me an answer? They had a lot to say before I cut the camera on. Now all of a sudden they got closed mouths. Like I said, this is the governor's office and the people ain't allowed to go in there, but the press is. That's called propaganda. Excuse me, miss, can you tell me why the people ain't allowed to come here? Can you answer me? Can somebody give me an answer? Uh, it's not in your pay grade. Now this is security and everybody know me. But they got to come out and you got to come down for the 90 days of session. This is how it's going to be. You got to start paying attention to the people. I started paying attention to the people. You see this? Security. One black man just wanted to talk to his governor, and he's not permitted to talk to his governor. A black governor don't defend black people's rights. Security up here, and I'm up here by myself. I ain't got no gun, no knife. All I got is my blackness. That's the only thing I'm equipped with is my blackness and my voice. And we excluded. Hey, governor, can I talk to you? I get three warnings for y'all put me out too, remember that. You go downstairs and catch Ivan Bates. This is the governor's house and black people have no rights here in Annapolis. Black people have no rights here in Annapolis. Social media for social change. You see how they treat black people in Annapolis. We can't attend the meetings. We are excluded from the conversations. But you want to talk about locking us up, making the community safe. That ain't how it go. This is signed in Ivan Bates security. What's up? How y'all doing? Oh, let me cut this off. 